Hello, my name is Katherine Hicks, and I love to play the flute. And I also love to teach people young and old to learn to play this wonderful, beautiful instrument. It's like a beautiful singing voice. A little bit about myself is I started to play the flute when I was in seventh grade. I joined the band and then stayed in the band until the end of high school. And then when I went to college, I ended up majoring in science. And so I stopped playing the flute for almost 20 years. It was a long time. Then when my kids were, were little, I decided to start playing again just to see what would happen. Before I knew it, I started uh, teaching the flute. I joined various chamber groups, orchestra, and all that kind of great stuff. So it changed my life. I would like to play a little piece for you. It's one of my favorites. It's called Syrinx, composed by Claude Debussy. He was French and he composed this piece in 1913. So what's fun about this piece is that it tells a story from Greek mythology. Syrinx was a beautiful wood nymph. It's kind of like a, a fairy. And Pan was a young Greek god, half goat, half man creature. And he was just in love, absolutely in love with Syrinx. One day, Pan sees Syrinx in the woods and he starts to chase her. Syrinx didn't like him so much. She's running away from him. She gets to the water's edge and she, in desperation, prays to the river gods, please save her um, to get away from Pan. So they felt sorry for her and changed her into a clump of reeds that's sort of like grass and that, to hide her. Then when Pan gets to the water's edge, he looks around for Syrinx, but he noticed that clump of reeds was new. He knew that was Syrinx. He was furious, so he grabbed the reeds and he broke them apart. And in doing so, he ends up killing Syrinx. When he thought about that, he felt very, very sad and remorseful. So he starts to put the reeds back together into little pipes of different lengths and he fashioned together what is called a pan flute. And he starts to try to make some music, make sounds out of the pan flute to try to keep, to try to bring Syrinx back to life. So when you hear this little piece, use your imagination and try to think of that story. Maybe where it gets really loud, that's where Syrinx is breaking apart the reeds. And then afterwards it sounds sort of sad. And maybe that's where he's trying to bring Syrinx back to life. So please enjoy.
Isn't that a fun piece? Hope you heard a little bit of the story in there. Anyway, please join me in some lessons. We can have a lot of fun and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.